And let me go There's a lot a of uncertainties bit. where the weather is concerned. I wish we had more certainty and we could just you tell see, people. It's, it's, it's more difficult even than a winter storm. What is certain? But in the summertime, you don't usually see strong low pressure systems like a this. A slow moving low pressure system is on its way and it's sticking around for a and while. We have other ingredients in place that could give us thunderstorms. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe even Saturday. The last thunderstorms that came through moved much more quickly, but still sparked many fires. Fires that started that started from a nighttime thunderstorm uh, group, and that's un very unusual. We could see that again. Which is why the National Weather Service meteorologists are keeping a close eye on where the fires are already burning. Doing the forecast for the firefighters, for the fire agencies that are working the fires out on the field. On a fire, they don't want to see any thunderstorms. It could start existing fires. It's just dangerous to be out with thunderstorms. But with the thunderstorm system that's moving in, it really could bring a no-win situation. The lightning could start more fires, but uh, it, we need the thunderstorms to bring rain that could put out the fires. But everyone is preparing for whatever the storm may bring. Now they want to make sure that not only the firefighters who are working there are not getting injured by meteorological things, you know, wind comes up or thunderstorms develop that they weren't expecting. They develop a plan of attack, you know, based on a lot of inputs, one of which is weather, and that's what we're out there to do. In Medford, Rayon Christensen, NBC5 News. Yeah, copy that. He's not by himself, he has the radio. Yeah. So, you know, it's